Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today I'm here with a book review. Uh, the book that I'm going to be reviewing is Good Different by Meg Eden Kuyat. And this is a book that I have been waiting for. I've been waiting for a piece that did its best to accurately, or at the very least reasonably, uh, depict the experience of what it is like to be on the autistic spectrum. And I think that from what I've read thus far, this is a model example. Good Different has to do with our central character, uh, a girl named Sayla Godfrey. Uh, she lives with her mom and her maternal grandfather, who she refers to as Pop, lives down the street. He is a widower, but he does play a huge role in her and her mother's lives. Sayla loves dragons and math. Uh, she doesn't like loud noises or being touched. And her mother wants her to mask these emotions, uh, especially out in public, uh, while her grandfather wants her to be open to expressing herself so long as she's not deliberately hurting anybody. But uh, she goes to uh, Pebble Creek to school. Uh, she has a uh, pretty just a jerk of a teacher in Mr. S. Uh, he's her homeroom teacher and math teacher, but she has an English teacher named Mrs. V, who, on the contrary, is very supportive, especially when it comes to uh, getting Sayla into writing poetry uh, when it comes to expressing her thoughts. This book is written in verse, uh, thus it reads very much like a, an Ellen Hopkins novel, uh, but the way in which she recalls things is somewhat similar to uh, on Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vuong. Uh, the major difference is uh, there is, uh, it's sequential in its structure, uh, where Ocean Vuong uh, in On Earth, We're Brief, Brief, Briefly Gorgeous is more uh, stream of consciousness. Uh, this is more, uh, it, it takes place within reasonable order. Uh, though she will uh, spend chapters talking about uh, whatever it is that's on her mind, uh, such as uh, an anecdote or her interest in dragons or uh, the uh, treasure hoard in her pop's basement. Uh, things begin to get very rocky for uh, Sayla when... Uh, Addie, who is a fellow student of hers, uh, she hits her when Addie tries to braid her hair. It's more of a mechanism where Sail is trying to brush her away, uh, but she does it pretty rough, and it is, it's is—it's not the right thing to do. Uh, even Sayla uh, regrets doing it, but it leads to her being suspended, and put into question as far as her standing with her fellow peers are concerned, and uh, even her standing within the school is concerned. Uh, but she does have a great group of support. Uh, Mrs. V is a supportive English teacher. Uh, Noelle, who is her best friend, is a very good best friend. Uh, and I think we get a great sense of the fact that People that are autists do have a very challenging time reading emotions and circumstances where uh, uh, Sayla may be led to believe that she's become a pariah, that even uh, someone like Noel doesn't want anything to do with her when uh, Noel continues to be uh, supportive and questions why. Sayla would feel a certain way. Uh, but I think the important thing, uh, as it's illustrated within this piece, is that people on the autistic spectrum and those that are neurodivergent uh, 
they everybody's different uh people are not they're not from the same mold uh, they may have different things that cause them to tick some may have more than others i think at the same time uh individual care should be granted for uh, the necessary situation uh, but at the same time everybody should be treated by the basic disposition that comes with the golden rule as one should just do unto others as they would want others to do unto them regardless uh, but I highly believe that people should be reading good different instead of the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. This does a far better job depicting the autistic spectrum accurately and appropriately. Uh, Sela's behavior is not extreme uh, in the point that uh, Christopher's behavior in the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime, he's he carries a Swiss army knife with him and there's student fellow students of his that are eating their excrement from the toilet. They're looking at the incredible extremes. Uh, and I think that the the parents within this piece are more reasonable and uh, the father doesn't have a role in her life. Uh, the, the, her parents are separated. Her father doesn't have a role. But that's as far as it gets. She doesn't know much about him. But it's not to the point where both in Curious Incident, Christopher's parents were both so abusive that uh, in their own way that they should have been examining uh, what was going on uh, and considered an alternate uh, setting for him. Uh, but I think that the characters in this piece especially drive this and play the necessary roles in making this excellent. Uh, you have your upstanders and your downstanders, uh, and I think that they really allow for someone like Sela to be reflected in a way that we should be paying more attention to in our world and uh, help strengthen our sense of empathy. And even those that are on the autistic spectrum, as hard as it may be, uh, they have an ability to develop and possess a strong sense of empathy. Uh, and they most certainly have that sense of regret for things that they may have done in the past. Uh, because someone like myself, I know that I, uh, there are things that I've done. Uh, that I regret. Uh, and I feel that I've done my best to be as empathetic to others as possible. And I think that the fact that this is an own voice piece, uh, the fact that uh, Meg Eden Kui yet is also uh, neurodivergent. I really like this uh, bio on the back for her, where she talks about the fact that if she was a Pokemon, she'd be Charizard. I think that Pokemon enthusiasts like Ari would get a kick out of it. Uh, but Good Different gets a perfect five stars. And I really beseech that more people read this in order to develop a greater understanding for neurodivergence and those that are on the autistic spectrum. And this is a fulfilling and rewarding kind of read, too. Thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you check out some more videos from this channel. And for now and as always, I encourage you to keep reading.